forward together, I want y'all to say with every fiber in your body, not one step back. Forward together! Not one step back! Working class people in this country are starting to wake up and they're realizing that we have like an entire world to win and that the future is ours. The Poor People's Campaign is a coalition of different groups that were sort of brought together to really honor MLK's memory. Not only the work that he did to advance the racial struggle in this country, the struggle for justice on that question, but to also make sure, right, we're keeping in mind like economic justice and what it means to fight for like justice and liberation for working class people in this country. Dr. King taught us that budgets can be moral documents. The 140 million poor people are told there is no money to end poverty, to provide health care and deal with the climate and jobs and education and all the things that we need. It's not true, it's a lie. There is money, but where is the money going? The money is going 52 cents of every federal dollar is going to the Pentagon. This society needs to change. Capitalism is a dying system. It is dying, it's not able to maintain the needs of everybody. It's impossible for them to do it because that's not their interest. Uh, and given everything that's happening in the country, if you looked at the hearings uh, about what happened on January 6th, if you take a look at the war in the Ukraine, if you take a look at the mass killings that are taking place, here in these United States, in Uvalde, Texas, and uh, then in Buffalo, you know, unless the people, uh, working class people, stand up uh, and, and shout and demonstrate and sit in decisively, it's going to be business as usual. And the Poor People's Campaign is a, is a fusion movement that brings together the different um, struggles so that we can really show critical mass, which is what's needed to bring in fundamental change. So it's just really exciting to come to DC to be a part of that and to meet thousands of organizers and activists from around the country who've also come, who want to figure out how to work together to actually make a better world for the people, for the working class. And so we stand on that principle in this country that no matter where we live, no matter what my background is, no matter who I love, no matter what I can do, at the end of the day, I am deserving to be treated like a human being. I am deserving of housing. I am deserving of a job that I can take care of myself and my family. I am deserving of health care. I am deserving to be loved and respected. We got to believe that, brothers and sisters.